Aizel is a really fun combo oriented character. She's got a very aggressive and close range playstyle. And she actually does have some tech that we can take advantage of. Now the biggest thing to watch out for with Aizel is going to be her low ammo count. She's got 8 shots and that's going to really sort of limit the amount of damage you can put out. Especially once you start getting into rocket jumping. Hey, oh, the rocket box. That's going to eat a lot of your ammo. So the bola has a few special properties to it. When you land it, you're going to get a speed buff. And it also pulls opponents towards you. And the next shot after you land the bola will be a homing shot. See how it curved towards it? You can also aim the bola up into the sky to spike an opponent, right? And that's going to be really useful for taking out characters out of the sky like Mistine, Boon, Amphora after she uses her special, or to just knock people out by shoving them down. And that's something I learned from watching Olog 3. Not sure who came up with it or who discovered it first, but that's who I learned it from. The charge does have a couple things we can do with it. Um, one is you can hold the charge. It isn't going to do more damage, but it does let you... Um, bait out a dodge, right? You can use it, wait a couple seconds, um, try to mind game your opponent, make them dodge, wait for the dodge to end, and then hit them with it. And you can also just take the time to aim it. And you can also dodge to cancel the charge. And that's going to make it so that the charge only has a two second cooldown. And that's kind of, it's a little niche, it's a little gimmicky. There's very few situations in which that's going to come into play. One of them being that if there's an opponent who's in Mega Blast danger, you're about to snipe them, but your teammate gets the kill before you, just cancel out so you don't have to wait the uh, 11 or 12 seconds that it is. And as far as hidden tech, I think that's going to be it. For artifacts, we're going to go with um, Axial Fan, Super Cav, and Bastion Bell. I feel that this is a really good mixture of everything, Bastion Bell to keep you healthy, the Super Cav to get that long 11 or 12 second cooldown halved and axial fan because she does have less ammo to rocket jump with um, getting more distance out of your rocket jumps is really going to help you conserve your ammo and help you get around the map while still having some ammo available to deal the damage so with that said let's go try to find a game Izel has a gimmick with her charge that's really going to let you score easy goals. Especially on the longer maps like this one and the one with Three, the uh, two, water fountains. One. So you don't want to charge into the ball. You want to wait till you have the ball and then you're going to throw it and charge with it. it is a really useful thing she can do. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, line it up here. You're just going to throw it, charge all the way over there, Ooh. and get yourself that easy score. Opponent's distracted over there, going to get more aggressive with them here, and we're going to get in Kai's bubble. That's a really good way to counter the bubble is to just get inside of it yourself so that the slow-mo doesn't um, affect you as much. So it looks like this is now a 3v2. So, I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm going to use the entirety of this footage. Probably just up until they left. Or cherry pick some moments out because this isn't really a fair showcase of the character, you know what I mean? So that was a pretty rough match. Sucks about the lever, so we're gonna go ahead and find another one. So this should be a fairly even match. Um, two randoms and two established players. Oh, and looks like the ISL ditto going on too. So here again, we're gonna focus on keeping players. Um, I'm gonna try to pull off players into a 1v1. 
Izel does definitely does not have the survival tools to be messing around in um and I do know that the enemy Izel is right behind me. I was trying to secure the KO so I could get the Bastion Bell health buff off. But unfortunately, was not able to get it as quickly. So we just saw that he used his dodge, so we're gonna go ahead and use our charge because we know that he can't charge out of it. I'm gonna bully him towards the sky and try to get that barrier kill. Right, remember, this is um, one of the gimmicks of this game is that you can get people killed by just shoving them out of bounds. So here, the lack of rocket radio is really gonna bite us in the butt. So we're not gonna get too aggressive here. We're gonna unfortunately have to camp a little bit. Get that, get that rev back down to earth. And we are starting to get surrounded, so we're just gonna run away and get the eyes out to chase us for the 1v1. What you can do with these jump pads is you keep the momentum if you spam your jumps after you touch the jump pad. So that can be useful for getting around the map. Okay, we're gonna try to bait out the dodge here. There it is. And bam, that is where holding it is very useful. So even if we win or lose, I think I'm gonna keep this game just because of that real world example. Uh, here we're gonna try to get this boon back down to earth and end up killing him and we're gonna stay aggressive on this rev i mean uh Lizelle. see if we can get an uh out of bounds kill on him okay so there's a dodge we know they don't have dodge anymore pop the headband to let the bastion bell secure the ko for us or get our health back i mean not gonna get fancy there with the charge on that rev because she was moving pretty quick and I didn't want to miss and end up knocking myself out of bounds. Knock the Izel down. Oh, he did not use his dodge yet, so I got a little aggressive with that. But it looks like uh, maybe we mind gamed him too much. He wasn't, uh, he was expecting us to hold it down, but we weren't. Unfortunately, gonna get caught out by the boon there. Um, yeah, I, I could have probably dodged, or not dodged, um, charged my way out of there. We're gonna save this magnet to protect a 1v1 so we don't get sniped by that boon. Popped it down a little haphazardly there. It absolutely served no purpose there. I don't know what I was doing. Yep, this is where we would want to pop it down. But I already wasted it. <laughs> so trying to use the movement things here to help us get away. That rev did see us, so now we're going to have to play a ring around the rosy with the rev. And we're healthy enough to take this fight now. So we're going to keep the high ground here until... Um, their teammates notice us. See if our opponents can finish off that KO there for us. And by opponents, I meant teammates. Okay, so they've discovered us once more. Um, trip mines, you kind of want to use them to block off things horizontally. It's going to limit where the Budin can fly around. Use our charge aggressively here because the boon is low, so if we finish them off, we're gonna get our charge back pretty quick because of Super Cab. Although we kinda took our time with that kill, so. We're gonna come back regardless. Sort of focus the uh, character that's low here, and look at that from a 12 second cooldown down to only five. Here, we're gonna wait for them to charge us. 
and then we're going to charge in the opposite direction. Unfortunately, did not see that rev there, so that was a little unaware of me. And they've managed to close the gap again. So it's going to be a pretty close game. They're just going to seem to get the lead right here. If we can't distract the opponents here. Split this off to a little 1v1 sections. Whiff the bowler there. I'm going to dodge here. Play ring around the rosy a little bit. Okay, now we have the... So this is where the magnet is going to be well placed because I saw a boon behind us. So we don't have to worry about Boone sniping us from behind. Unfortunately, was not able to escape there. I was trying to get the KO, immediately Bola the Izel to get the speed buff, and then try to use that speed buff to run away. You can hear that our opponents are being attacked. Missed that. I'm gonna be careful with how we play this right here. I'm gonna try to escape. Ten seconds. That's gonna be a close one, and the boon was above us. So unfortunately, pretty close game there. Did manage to win it, but I think I did show off a lot of what we can do with Izel. And I suppose that is the point there. So anything that I would have changed that match would be to have saved my magnet to help the uh, to help keep the one v one a one v one instead of getting um, destroyed from all angles. I guess just better placement of my items. Can't really think of much else I could have done there. Um, perhaps played it a little more snipery, but that's not really what Izel does. So to wrap it up. Um, you're going to want to stick to 1v1s, you're going to use your bola to pull people towards you to get them into a 1v1 scenario. That map was pretty open, so that's just kind of where Izel was going to struggle unless you camp around the uh, three big obstacles. Stay close range. Don't forget to use your charge as a movement tool, use it to escape, close gaps. You can use it to finish off KOs or get in somewhere and deal a lot of damage. And then the Bola, of course. Make sure you're comboing with that, using it to take characters like Boon down to your level. And that's going to be about it. I'll see you guys in the next one.